Hello everybody and welcome back to episode 2 of my gameplay series featuring my Dark Ice Elves. So, in the last episode we had really a pretty good expansionary phase until we met Draculetta. Draculetta seems to live with her cannibalistic hobbit friends down below. I checked out her uh, species more, more specifically and they have underground adaptation going on for themselves so I'm pretty sure that these guys are living down in that hole and doing what they do. So the biggest problem that I see arising here is that I have so far not spotted any really particularly interesting spot to settle down on. So I guess the best thing we can do is to conquer Nightwatch because this would be, well, one way to do this. but. Let's see. We should be okay with that. This count as, counts as an evil act, but we wouldn't get the uh, Imperium penalty. So my plan was for today's episode to go for whatever we have around here and uh, cleanse out the vicinity of my main capital city. And then we're going to go for either the conquering of uh, Nightwatch or we're going to look what we can build around here, but I'm not too optimistic and we really need that second city ASAP. I mean, we could integrate Nightwatch also just into our empire, surely a method, but that would take quite a long time and I don't know if I want to take uh, that much time for me here. So a gold vein, we are going to build a mine here, I guess. Well, we got enough food for now. We need money money keeps the world spinning so let's see what we're going to find here oh yeah those scouts they uh they already are paying off there so this world is rather small i think the next let's play series that i'm going to do won't have such a small map but for 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 the first campaign i think it is okay i underestimated how much the realm gets downscaled if you reduce the amount of players down to three so let's see that's a bunch of tier one units and we'd lose even somebody that is totally unacceptable the ai i figured is not really good at uh, handling dark troops in a nutshell they always lose they always lose troops i don't know sometimes i feel like the alpha strike is uh, totally uh sufficient to blast down the enemy and then we don't lose troops but if that ever doesn't uh doesn't seem to be the case the damage we take on the troops is rather spectacular so this is also quite a nasty uh, bunch because they got a lot of entwined balls they might go down quite quickly but they do deal a lot of damage being skirmisher units they are just uh, they just do what skirmisher units do best burst and go down fast so due to that we are going to do what we always do use the good old fallback strategies and make sure we in inflict as much damage as possible at the beginning just trying to adjust my shock troop to a spot where he's able to not uh, be too far away or where he's able to attack because he is not too far away and let's see, I think I'm going to go into over channel this turn because I want to ice shackle as many of these guys so they don't uh, have the ability to come into my squad that easily. So we have, we are, we are uh, being greeted by a lot of ouchies, but I expected as much. So let's do this. Get, when, get in with the archers and make sure that we weakened the enemy. I want to slam those guys and pin these. Although pinning is not as effective against skirmishers because they are slippery. Skirmisher units are per se immune against uh, retaliation attacks and stuff. So I really botched up the positioning of these guys, admittedly. So what do we have here? Those archers? Oh, wait a sec. They... No, they can't shoot from here. There we go. So let's hope for the lucky shot, I'd say. Ah, they didn't get frozen. Ah, well. Doesn't happen too often with the freezing. My spell capabilities are rather low, 
but I want to, let's see, these guys cannot be frozen. I want to freeze at least some part of their army, my goodness. 90% chance of freezing that guy. The chances are really against me today. Alright, we got some blindness. But I mean, the bar isn't set too high. If we achieve victory without losing a unit, we already did it better than the AI, so it shouldn't be too hard. Alrighty, now then, let's uh, let's do this like that. We do... Oh yeah, I like that one. This totally annihilates these guys, or so I thought. Well... Yeah, let's take out these. At least they uh, delivered as promised. So, I just don't want to waste too much damage on this uh, single guy who's almost beaten. Alright, here we go. Cancel out that retaliation. And finish them off with my spear dudes. Wonderful. Okay, so we have a full volley of my archers left for these and yeah I'll go into melee here all right they have still an action left but uh, goes without uh, further damage now okay nice that's more like it so we gained food for the town that's also really really good we totally can use that so, I learned the first time the experienced leader. So, what do we have here? Inspiring leader. Minus unit upkeep. Later down the road, this might be interesting, but not now. So, plus 10% damage. Pretty interesting, but I actually want to be able to do damage myself. Thank you. So, well, a currency gain would be quite nice, but only if we'd have no longer a supporter item. I do like the lightning evoker. Let's go for that gives me a fairly powerful active skill. I say fairly powerful because it could be it could be truly better. I think there was something back there as well. Yeah. I want to clear out these nests while I'm at it. You know, I don't want to have to return here later. Don't don't want. So, since this world is rather small, I'm going to skip the wayfinder enchantment. Usually I would take that, but uh, I want those white witches. They are pretty good. These are really cool battle mage units that we can have a cheap and easy access on. Okay, so what do we build here in our city? I think I'm going to go with the experimentation chambers. Some knowledge income boost and some gold is never a bad thing. Okay, do we have any quests open? No. All right, so I'll proceed and... Uh, Plot down as many quarries as we can. Okay, there's another NPC army around there. Yeah, I've been insulted. That's pretty good. I'm uh, I'm quite happy that Draculetta is uh, pulling off her things. She does because we we want to be at war with her. Don't get me wrong here, but uh, this was never meant to be a harmonious uh, relationship between those little halflings and me. So that should do the trick, I'd say. Yep. There we go. So a couple of storm scale serpents. Oh uh, well. I don't want to give away any XP, so totally wanna kill them. Yeah. Nah. You see, there's just too much damage on a single unit. I mean, I don't know if I will truly make it better than that. But I know one thing, I surely won't do it much worse than the AI. Chances are usually to make it better. The last fight, I uh, I botched up the positioning of my of a lot of my melee units. Uh, that was uh, that was not too well played and organized for me. The fighters and the spear dudes they were just uh, kind of like limping around at the border of the combat. I didn't like what I did there, so let's see if we can do that better. Okay, so we have another attack from the Entwine Thrall, but they come with a couple of other critters. We already know our friend the Stormscale Serpent. Good old shocker. So, 
Well, I am very inclined to attack here because we're actually standing on a quite decent front here. But my 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 ranged guys are not uh, not well off. Nah, nah, nah. We're uh, we're we're going the ice shack lane and fall back. Fall just a tad bit back. It is worth so darn much if you can put down a full archer volley on on some unit as your as your alpha strike so i i really don't want to miss out on that here we go i mean the archers they took some damage on that but we have now excess you know it's pretty good all right why are you folks so uh what's wrong with you are you blinded or something yeah it's a bit weird so let's see Let's open up the way for the shockers. So let's see my shock units. First off, I want to see if I can freeze this guy this time. Oh, well, once it works as intended. Okay, so oh, they resisted the weakening. Oh, that's too bad. So we're going to guard our um, our archers with those spear uh, guys, because I don't want to risk losing people here. Oh yeah, I successfully weakened my own guys. Well played. But, well. Friendly fire, you know. It had smileys on him. So they shouldn't complain. Okay, so let's see. This uh, lightning evoker thing has a high range, but not that high. Okay, I am going to go for a magic blast here, because that blinds the dudes. Okay, so, well, they went for my hero unit. I'm personally always the happiest if, if this is the case, because uh, honestly, it is so easy um, to patch up a hero, and no matter how much damage your main hero took, he's going to deal the same damage. Not true for your all your other units, so... That's a pretty decent thing to note. Zap? Ah, well, the freeze was resisted, as usual. But since this guy is quite an annoying customer, we're going to freeze him one more time. The thing about these guys is they reflect damage, so... Oh, I, I wouldn't have needed to. Ah, well, that was wasted mana. Whatever. Whatever. It's okay, though. So, I gained a lucky ring. Lucky me. So, well... I bought that magic missile wand at the end of the last uh, episode, I just realized. Yeah, well, we're going to take that, because I think the Ring of the Inspired Killer was totally not uh, synergistic with my hero. So, let's go this way. This way I'm closer to both uh, camps there. Okay. Won't take long to have fully cleared out the area there looking forward to that so i totally expect a early war in this uh in this session all right so auto combat for once do something good i don't know a lot of damage on my dark warriors i think i can do this better so, I do realize that my mana income sucks. That's something I... Oh, well, I gotta work on that. I do cast a lot of spells. This uh, whole um, kit would have been... Uh, would have been very synergistic with some... more focus on spell casting as well. I don't think that anything is uh, working uh, badly for, for us here or so. Don't get me wrong. But I think we could have way more synergy here. Okay, so these guys are too far away from one another to be to be ice shackled. Jeez. They're trying some next level strategy against me. Not just kidding. Okay, so let's check this out. My shock trooper is in a pretty bad position. So these are the little things that I want to uh, to do better on, you know? There we go. So let's check out that one magic missile there. 100% uh, chance to hit him with. That's all? 
Zap, that's all. Damn. Quite, uh, quite underwhelming, don't you agree? So, well, whatever. Let's charge in. Watch up or, uh, or, um, what's it called? Action economy or action order. Yeah. Weakening these guys first is really good. So, sadly, my warlock is not able to put down his uh, strong spells there either. But we're going to be cheesy here. Bam. Ice coffin. I love this. Yes, this does cost me some uh, spell points, but whoa! Yo, teleports the unit to target Hex and deals damage to adjacent enemy units. Cool. Our Snow Spirit has uh, matured, my friends. He's no longer a tier 1 unit. He's a fully fledged monster now. Good stuff. I like it. Alright, so these guys are... You cannot cancel their retaliation because they're just uh, very tough customers. And therefore, well, I don't know. I don't have mana left either. So, five points of retaliation. I'm okay with that. So, see, I didn't do it uh, much worse than the AI. Quite the opposite. Hey, yo, another lucky ring. I really need a second uh, hero unit. So badly. <laughs> Jeez, this is, uh, this is quite ironic. But we are expanding very, very nicely. Especially, I got now access to all those uh, areas here. Most of them. <laughs> yeah, let's go for let's go for another mine. We are grabbing that gold, and I'm going to go for that tier three stronghold because this gives me access to my dark knight units very, very early, and I do foresee quite some quite some fun with that decision because that would mean that in our first war i'd have access to my uh, tier 3 units from my culture right from the get-go i find that very appealing okay i highly doubt that this will be a good auto fight but hell i was wrong so for once i'm going to accept the results like that a ring of protection i'm the lord of the rings here guys damn this is for once finally a ring I want to wear. I just need three more heroes now. Well, whatever. Oh boy, we can recruit our first white witch. That's amazing. I like it. Okay, so uh, we're uh, we're on a roll here, my friends. So troop-wise, this should be already enough wrestle down the competition around there but i want to see if there is a spot where we can settle down peacefully i am very very interested in keeping this uh, this free city here alive as it is without any annoyances here so well i want to have channel power i'm allocating a lot of battle mage units and if i understood the way that this works uh, correctly I can have a lot of extra oomph with that. So, Frost Arrows, hell yeah. Magic Origin Upkeep Reduction. Well, I do have already two Magic Origin units, but I think I want to have this first. But we actually have room for all of these. Nice. Okay. I'll save some Imperium points for later. You never know. Okay. But it doesn't look like, um, yeah. Good thing that I uh, that I went for a clean sweep over there. So this way I am sure that there is nothing for her to grab there. That's uh, quite the relief. Oh man, yeah. It looks more and more like we need to uh, we need to conquer something. Or well, the other option would be to. To put a lid on that, <laughs> that subterrane passage. This does uh, this is actually quite a good idea. I think this is what I'm going to do, yeah. Let's put a lid on the hobbits. I wonder what she's up to here. I mean, if she thinks that she can ambush me here, yeah, nice try. She has to siege that thing. Oh yeah, we got a first quest. 
Nice. And it's just around that corner, ready to be denied by the enemy hero. Great. <laughs> Dang it. Oh, this is so annoying. Oh, jeez, this is so annoying. All right, whatever. We got we we got to face the fact that things are like they are. We are going to do this on our own. This is an interesting fight. I don't want to skip that out. This will also give me some time to just uh, get over it that my quest is getting ruined by Draculetta. By now, I do um, develop a deep-seated grudge towards uh, Draculetta, just so you know. Okay, so is anybody on, of my dudes on fire? No, it doesn't look like. Good, good. So that magic wand uh, missile, uh, that, that magic missile wand is highly uh, um, disappointing, really. One of the most disappointing things that I uh, came across. So we're being at attacked here uh, quite directly. I do like that. I do like that. Let's do the best out of this. So first off, we're going to utilize our battlefield magic. I got lots of goodies to spread. So, well, so let's keep my hero up, uh, for later. I want to avoid to walk through the ice here, to the through the fire here. But I think, oh look! Damn, I, oh, I, I messed up my, uh, my actions there. Oh, she can. All okay, right, never mind. So, also, our spider has matured. Oh, I could have went for the web as well. We have here now a tier three magic unit. This is, uh, by the way, a really, really strong asset at this point. So, we have now expendable troops. I love it. I love it. All right, we're going to do this like that. So, just going to uh, ignore the fact that we're uh, we're taking some damage here. Oh, oh no! I ah oh, damn it! This is bad. So now I uh, now I messed up myself a little bit by not moving the spider. Oh jeez! All right, let's make the best out of it. So let's see. That thing doesn't have a. Uh, Retaliating blow. Does this have a chance to freeze? Yes, it does. It does. Because you know you can't spell nice without ice. But uh, we're going to destroy the. Yeah, we're going to try our best to destroy those skirmishers. Yeah. There we go. Ah, he froze him. He froze him. So good. So we're just going to freeze these guys as well, or we just removed their burning. So today I learned. I had no clue that this is a thing, but uh, luckily I got over channel. Let's see what happens if we freeze a unit on a burning field. Guess it get unfrozen at the next turn. That's what I'm wondering. Pretty sure they do, but uh, you know, just want to know what the turn, what the the hierarchy here is. Oh, I even got the Ice Witch. Oh, man. No, that's a Warlock. Um, where's my Ice Witch at? Shouldn't I have an Ice Witch here? I think the Ice Witch is still in training. I'm getting ahead of myself. That's what the, what's happening here. So, we're, uh, we're just going to eradicate these guys here. I like to have a clean hit. And my hero still has his uh, action open. Let's uh, go for the electrification attack. There we go. Wonderful. The electrify is, in so far, really neat, as it does deal some uh, good damage over time here to these guys. So let's get the weakening down. And I'll just uh, bite the bullet that I totally gimped myself here. I really don't want to um, set my my guys on fire because that's just unnecessary damage that we can avoid so darn easily. Just don't wanna. All right, let's wreck some havoc. I think this turn we're going to annihilate most of the opposition there. 
Yeah, let's get into the attack there. This is uh, the summoned unit of spiderlings, so... If they live or die, that just doesn't matter too much. So, um... This guy is a really, really nasty uh, customer. So, he didn't freeze anybody, but... Uh, he still has the opportunity to attack. Jeez. Really got to take care of... Uh, of this, uh, of the threat level of these guys later when I uh, when I encountered these on the enemy side because uh, in all honesty I had no clue how darn annoying these guys are. So speaking about darned annoying, that fire everywhere is darned annoying. So. Well, that Wand of Magic Missiles has uh, surely one big advantage. It is... Uh, it does feature a nice range. Jeez, that terrain here. I do love this game for all the different things it does with the terrain and the map. So we're going to uh, freeze the, the Skirmisher and smack the Supporter. The thing is that the Supporter doesn't really have much uh, things he can do. Ugh, there's still more fire everywhere. Well. So, let's see that we can take out that uh, skirmisher. I just want to avoid unnecessary damage on my guys, that's all. There we go. That's looking quite good. So, now I'm going into the offensive because I think... We should be capable of uh, killing everybody here this turn. No, oh dear. That was not quite what I wanted, but it worked out. Okay, so uh, that was quite a big battle, but I'm uh, I'm okay with it. Alrighty. So, the vicinity here isn't really what you'd be uh, contesting for a city. Really not. But uh, at the same time, I feel like I, I have to build a province here, you know, a, a city here. I just have to contest the AI here. Because I'm somewhat sure that this won't go, this won't go down, down peacefully. Okay, we are going to go with uh, Tom of Zeal here. I have uh, checked this out before, and I love Legion of Zeal. And Inspiring Chant is really, really synergistic as well. And um, the Circle of Zealotry goes well with uh, quarry increase, uh, with quarry stuff. So I really found that this was an interesting ad addition to the uh, Cryomancy build. I... I did this really quickly here, but I I researched this quite thoroughly, and in, um, in in the last time I I I went on with a with the cryo build, and to my own surprise, this was the most interesting thing that I found in the tier in the other tier one tomes. Let me know what you would have picked. I'm really curious. Because it is pretty much the end of today's episode. I'm just going to wait what Draculetta will do. Oh, RN Jesus my, uh, shall be praised. She didn't uh, pick up my my city there. But she's contesting my territory. I don't mind. This is just a dumb move. Because this uh, gives me the uh, permission to go into war against her. Brilliant move, Draculetta. Brilliant move. We're going to meet each other downstairs. So... Next time, we're going to go into a first war. I just don't know yet if it's going to be Nightwatch or if it's going to be Draculetta. But, uh, you know, we're going to build a city down here. It's not going to be the best of all cities, but, uh, well, oh, I don't know. I probably shouldn't build a city here. But then again, it's just one of those situations where I feel like I'm damned if I do and damned if I don't. And uh, this way I can't apply nice control here over the situation. 
Anywho, leave me your comments down below. I really enjoyed this, uh, this session here today. We didn't have too many turns, but we had some really cool fights, I think. And I hope you're going to join on in the next time when we're going to test out those wonderful little white witch thingies here. So, leave a thumbs up, leave a subscription if you'd be so kind, I'd be more than delighted. And of course, have a wonderful day. Check out the description box. There is a playlist link to the entire playlist series of the Ice Elves. And if you'd be so kind to check out the support links to Patreon, Paypal and buy me a coffee, you could be among the people that I constantly thank for their awesome and amazing support. It's up to you. Either way, thanks for watching this video and have a wonderful day.